Hi, this one will be a quick one. Uh, okay, sorry for the shaking camera, but you've been warned. I'm known for shaky videos. Okay, so uh, a couple of months ago, I got Hi Femans uh, A six uh, SE V2 headphones, <clears throat> and these are great headphones. But the problem with them is that it's not an easy thing to find the right uh, headphone amplifier for them. It has to be powerful and it has to be clean. And this usually means uh, the high price. And uh, even if you buy something expensive with high output and clean, it doesn't necessarily mean that you like it. And one of the ways to drive that kind of headphones, not only this high demands, but mm, some other headphones, uh, is to use adapter is uh, too big word to use to, to, to describe that device but a kind of cable that will allow you to connect your headphones straight to your speaker amplifier because yes you can use your speaker amplifier to power your headphones but you have to be careful because the regular headphones will be very sensitive and the uh, output level of your typical uh, speaker amplifier can just blow them away but these high demands are 50 ohms and they have very low sensitivity about, I think it was 86 uh, dBs, uh, which means that even with the speaker amplifier, they will not always uh, play very, uh, very loud. So, I was going to make one of these adapters by myself, because it's a very simple thing, you just need to solder the plugs, but then I realized that I can get uh, one already made cheaper than the sum of the parts uh, here in Europe. Uh, so, I was uh, going to use that kind of braided cable anyway, because I bought it a couple of years ago for all of my headphone related needs. Uh, it's a braided cable, uh, which uh, is made supposedly from uh, PCOCC uh, copper, which was silver plated and then put inside uh, the Teflon coating. Uh, it looks very nice, yes, but that's not the most important thing about it. The most important thing about it is that it sounds very, very good. It's very clean and very transparent. It has great... Uh, it allows for great highs uh, and it allows for good bass control. And I was using this kind of braided silver plated cable on all of my uh, custom made cables that I've done uh, during a couple of years right now. So when I've noticed that there is something already made and I won't uh, have to buy my uh, my own Neutrik plugs uh, or my own speaker connectors, I've decided to give it a go. And if uh, I won't like it, if I won't like the quality of the plugs, I can always replace them with my own. So I got it. It works very good. It works fine. Uh, the plugs... Uh, of good quality. If you can bear with me, we can take a look at the soldering quality here. And it's a nice quality solder. It's clean and it looks good. So, yes, it has my recommendation. And uh, for the speaker plugs, I would be usually going for something uh, else. I would be usually going for BFA bananas. Uh, but I've learned uh, that these are also working very nicely because uh, they are springy. So uh, it requires some strength to put them into the speaker connector. Uh, but then they are uh, giving a very nice and a very solid contact. Uh, so, yes. It was cheap. I think it was less than $10 or something like that, including shipping for two meters of the cable and right now i'll be using uh, and i'll be enjoying my uh, hyphy months uh, laying on my bed uh, with uh, headphones connected to my uh, superb azure monoblox and that's all so if you're looking uh, for a way to connect your hyphy man or other low sensitive headphones to your speaker amplifier this is the way to go Headphone uh, producer Hyphy Man is also uh, producing this kind of adapter. Uh, it was uh, delivered in a box for some of the Hyphy Man headphones, uh, but it was closed in a box, 
So on the one side of the box you'll have your speaker connections, on the other side of the box you'll have your balanced connection, and inside the box you'd have two resistor. The first one was in line with the signal uh, in order to attenuate the signal a bit, and the second was uh, second one was uh, in parallel with the speaker inputs in order to provide the sufficient load for the amplifier. But a straight cable works uh, just as well, but you need to be careful about the volume level on your amplifier. And if you're careful about that, you'll be fine. So, until the next time. Bye.